blade. Da, da, da. Wing blade. Uh.
of Adept Eye Tricks. If you're borrowing a book, please register it in the log. The restricted section is currently not lending any books. Oh, it's you, little cutie. 
It's so good to see you. More refreshing than a strong cup of tea in the afternoon. Clearly you're meant to be working, but you don't seem to have your heart in it at all. I mean, other than Jean, who really works that earnestly anyway? So, did you have something you needed? Or did you just come to see me? Ooh, a smooth talker. Not what I was expecting. So, Miss Librarian, got any books to recommend? Hmm, recommended books. Sadly, everything I'd personally recommend is all in the restricted section, which we're not currently lending out. What's with your ominous tone? Oh, right. Would you be interested in checking out the Devat Travel Guide? I think it would be quite helpful for you as travelers here. Ooh, sounds like it could be helpful. Do you think we could take a peek? <sighs> I suppose I can try to find you a copy from the list. Isn't this Lisa's job? What does she mean, I suppose? Oh dear, that's unfortunate. Our copy is currently being borrowed. That said, it is now overdue. Come to think of it, quite a few of our books are now overdue. <sighs> I really wish people would just return their books... on time. Whoa, is Paimon imagining things, or does the air in here suddenly feel a lot more... electrified? <sighs> Such a pain. <sighs> I'm going out to bring those unreturned books back. If you'd rather get your hands on that copy of the Tavat Travel Guide sooner, you'd better come with me. Uh, Lisa seems really scary right now. Paimon thinks it would be best if you answer her. You really are such a considerate cutie. Let's see. First, we can go to... The Souvenir Shop. It's called With Wind Comes Glory. So let's meet there shortly. You're here. Let's begin, shall we? Hello, Marjorie. Any exciting new items in stock? Why so surprised? Today is such a special day. It's only natural that I'd want a souvenir to remember it by. So it is. In that case, I declare this the day of... The day of my life I wish I could get back because I spent my first ever outing with someone taking them on an annoying errand. It's a bit long. <laughs> well, if it's a souvenir you're after, you're in the right place. I'm sure you'll find something that strikes your fancy, Lisa. Or you could let your new friend pick something out for you. Make it more of an occasion. Yes, yes! Let us pick! This pair? Soft, puffy, and very comfortable. Certain to make a little girl... Well, in this case, a woman, look quite adorable. After all, they're the same kind worn by toy dolls. They're practically a badge of cuteness. Bloomers? I'm sure to attract some strange looks if I dress up like a small child in public. Do you have some strange hobby you're not telling me about? Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. <sighs> well, if you insist. I'll just use them as an extra pair of pajamas. Goodness, is that the time? <sighs> Marjorie, one last thing. About the legend of Vanessa. Oh, so you're a fan of the gallant lady Vanessa too? Why didn't you say so? I have all sorts of items I could recommend. For example, this lion's tooth pendant with Vanessa's name carved into it. It was once a medal awarded to a knight by the great lady herself. Hmm... Oh my goodness. I do apologize. I got so excited when you mentioned Vanessa. I didn't know that book was overdue, even though I take it with me everywhere. 
I can't believe I didn't put two and two together as soon as I saw you here. <laughs> here you go. Well, since you look up to Lady Vanessa so very much, please be more punctual next time. Yes, Lisa. I will be Lisa. Let's go and find the next overdue book. There will definitely be something that catches your eye. Come take a look. There will definitely be something that catches your eye. Ancient alchemy truly is fascinating. Rebooting. Here we go. This is it. Crisis. Danger. The thrill of adventure. Adventurer's Guild. Finally, our days of rescuing kittens and finding lost puppies are over. The age of adventure is upon us. Roll up, youngsters. Join the Adventurer's Guild today. In this time of great upheaval, we must rally together, take on the dragon, and save our great- What? What? The storm terror threat is resolved? <laughs> I missed the acting clan master's speech? <sighs> ah, storm terror should have put up more of a fight. We didn't get to join in. Long live the heroes. <sighs> Thank you. It's finally over. Many trade routes have closed due to the storm terror incident. We can cope for now without fresh fruit and vegetables. <sighs> but if the wine supply dries up, we're all doomed. <sighs> I cannot imagine a world without wine. <sighs> I hope they get the trade routes back up and running soon. So Storm Terror's true identity is Devalin, one of the Four Winds. We never should have forgotten his past sacrifice for Mondstadt. Every cloud has a silver lining. We're fortunate that our relationship with the Dragon of the East didn't sour past the point of no return. For that, we have you to thank. And Jean for her unfailing devotion. As long as we have the Knights of Favonius, Peace and freedom will prevail in Mondstadt. It's been getting quite busy recently. Uh. Greetings! May I take your order? Why so cold? I've always thought that we enjoy quite the intimate friendship. <laughs> it seems your great battle sharpened not only your combat skills, but your wit as well. Ah, a night after my own heart. To bask in the presence of Mondstadt's new big hero is quite the morale boost. And that's coming from a knight. 
sweet-talking, sugar-coated Captain Kaya. <laughs> Nonsense. I speak from the heart. Just looking for a quiet spot to collect my thoughts. While all the other knights are working hard to clean up after the battle? Thinking can be an arduous task, you know. Believe me, I'd much rather be taking out the trash. So what you thinking about then? The Abyss Order. A dragon wreaks havoc in Mondstadt, and the acting Grand Master leaves the city to combat the threat. Strategically, that's the perfect moment for the Abyss Order to make their move. If you were the Abyss Order, would you squander this golden opportunity by sending in nothing more than a few hilly churls? To get to the bottom of it, I decided to wait. So I waited, and watched for their next move. Then came the day you made all hell break loose in Storm Terror's lair. Just as the hilly churl's cries sounded from the city gates. That same day, I saw shadowy figures lurking in the city itself. Inside the city? Well, all the other knights were outside, fighting the enemy. As you can imagine, that left the inside of the city completely unguarded. Except for me, of course. And so I approached the Abyss Order infiltrators for a bit of... Mm, let's call it fraternizing. Through various means, I managed to gather some rather interesting intel. The situation is this. The Abyss Order. They are united under a single leader. The Abyss Order has a leader? Yes. And it was this very leader who devised the plot to turn Dvalin into a weapon of war. What exactly did you have to do to find this out? <laughs> Let's just say I'm blessed with certain linguistic powers. There's more. The Abyss Order has a name for this leader. They call him the Prince. Now, I'm sorry to cut this intelligence briefing short, but I do believe I spy Amber heading this way. I think she's still angry with me for my absence from the defense effort during the attack. I'd better slip away before she notices me. One minute I see Kaya, the next he slipped away. Clear sign of a guilty conscience. Are you sure? Because that sounds like exactly what he'd say to talk himself out of trouble. Uh, but let's forget about him. I worked super hard today, and my tummy's rumbling. Let's order. Hi, Sarah. One sticky honey roast, please. Welcome to Good Hunter. Table for two? Three! Oh, <laughs> my apologies. Please sit wherever you like and call me over once you're ready to order. So we're gonna eat first and bring up the book situation later? Why, of course. The stress of work really takes the pleasure out of eating, don't you think? Work is that bad, huh? It's been getting quite busy recently. <sighs> Why don't you order us something, cutie? I'm ever so curious to know what your tastes are. Good Hunter's signature dish. If it's what you want, I'll try anything once. You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Mmm, finished ordering? Sit here, let's dine together. Which should I choose? tender and cooked to perfection. No wonder it's their signature dish. It's a shame I can't have more, but a witch must watch her physique. Ugh, Paimon's so full. Time is getting on. I suppose I should carry on with this ghastly thing called work. Let's have a little chat with Sarah about her library book. Would you like to order something else? 
No, thank you. We're quite satisfied. But I'm afraid I must ask you about the boar princess. The boar brisket? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we took that off the menu. <sighs> she means the book you borrowed. Oh, of course. I came straight to the restaurant after I borrowed it and completely forgotten that I even had it. I'm so sorry, Lisa. I will bring it to the library myself as soon as I finish work. Hmm. <laughs> okay, then. But make sure you don't forget this time. Right. On to our next stop, then, cutie. Come take a look. There will definitely be something that catches your eye. <sighs> this is our final call for the day. Welcome. Uh, couples are our specialty. Let me know what you'd like and I'll wrap them up nicely for you. Ah, uh, yes. Now, which book was it that has the line, A date without flowers is... <laughs> Some flowers for Miss Lisa? What would you like? Some flowers for Miss Lisa? What would you like? Dandelions are one of our classics. And a personal favorite of Miss Flora, the shop owner. I know what you're thinking. Most flower shops don't sell dandelions. They are a nuisance to care for. Perhaps Miss Flora likes the sense of floating away to a faraway land that the dandelion evokes. Come to think of it, Miss Flora herself gives people the same impression. You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Dandelions? They actually sell dandelions? They have a refreshing scent, similar to the one Jean wears. Thank you. Okay, time to get back to business. Donna, do you know why we're here? Back to business? My business is selling flowers. <sighs> Once again, we see a total lack of respect for literature. The Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies. Ring a bell? Oh, uh, yes. Well, what happened was... Uh, was? Oh no, what am I gonna do? I... I lost the book. <sighs> A while back, I realized it was almost due, and I was getting ready to bring it back to the library. But I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked for days, but nothing. It's like somebody stole it. It should have been there, on my bedside table, right where I left it. Uh-oh. That Lisa does some crazy things when she gets mad. I heard that. <laughs> well, if it really was stolen, Donna has done nothing wrong. The blame lies with the book thief. And their punishment will be three, no, ten times worse than stealing my book. Like Paimon said, totally crazy! Oh, don't worry about that. As long as I remain librarian, not a single book will go missing for good. I put a unique elemental marker on each book. Our thief will have left a nice set of clues for us to follow. When did Lisa start taking her job so seriously? Paimon always thought she was a total slacker. Hey, sweetie. I've heard your elemental sensitivity is very strong. Why not see what you can do? Elemental sensitivity? Oh, Paimon's got it! Use your elemental sight to look for clues! Better see if I've read the cathedral if you're injured. Can't you give me a better price? Looking at the elemental traces, it does seem likely that the book was stolen. It's not from the restricted section, so it's hardly a book worth stealing. Whoever wanted this book so badly had a strange fixation indeed. Hmm. So, what do we do now? The elemental traces are very faint, but I can tell that the thief took it beyond the city walls. You must see it too, right, cutie? Let's follow the trail and have a look where our thief was headed, shall we? The 
The elemental traces are strong here, but it seems our thief did not stay for long. The trail keeps going. Let's keep looking. Further than I thought. Quite the intrepid explorer, our little thief. Maybe we frighten the turtle back inside his shell. Faster. It must be nearby. Using elemental sight, you can even detect magic. Follow the flow of magic to find the book. inside ruins? Mondstadt people do have some strange quirks. Please do not jump to such a preposterous conclusion about the living habits of Mondstadt's residents. 
This seems far more likely to be the work of some none-too-friendly troublemakers. Stealing books is hardly the Hilly Churl's style. All they would use books for is to keep their campfire going anyway. This is more likely to be the Abyss Order's doing. They do seem to have a way of slipping in and out of places like ghosts, after all. Also, there's an elemental seal at the entrance. It looks like the result of an Abyss Mage's magic. A seal? How are we gonna break it? Is this gonna turn into another huge ordeal? <laughs> Not to worry. If you think a little magic can keep me out, think again. Why is that? Come on. Whoa! So this is what Lisa's like when she's hard at work. Turn it. There will be no exceptions. urine for a little shot.
You're in for a little shock. You're in for a little shock. Urine for a little shot. Come a little closer. Try not to enjoy this too much. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. <laughs> Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Urine for a little shock. <laughs> Try not to enjoy this too much. Come a little closer. 
For a little shock. Yep, life goes on. Come a little closer. How did you find this place? It's so well hidden! I have no interest in finding out where you little rascals hide yourselves away, but I do want my book back. Tell me, how is it that you have the time to conceal your stronghold and apply a magic seal, but not to sign out a library book in the proper manner? You have no respect whatsoever for other people's work. You... you just want... the book? I was unaware that anyone in Mondstadt was concerned with unearthing the secret hidden inside this book. Who... who are you? The librarian. Although I believe that should be quite clear already. Return the book. This is an ultimatum. <laughs> Since you insist on concealing your identity, I have all the less reason to give you that book. After all, it contains... the secret. Huh? Wh wh what are you doing? Such concentrated elemental power! P please don't! Hmm. Naughty boys who don't do what they're told need a little punishment to keep them in line. <sighs> this is why I call it troublesome work. We'll just need to find the book ourselves. It should be around here somewhere. thing it isn't damaged. Otherwise... Otherwise what? Are you telling me you have even more crazy punishments up your sleeve? <laughs> I would have probably have needed to dish out a little taste of one of my potions in that case. Uh... Then again, as I said, it isn't from the restricted section, which is the only reason I would let the average citizen borrow it in the first place. And it doesn't appear to have any abnormal elemental properties, save for the markings I put on it. Yeah, it seems like just an average storybook. As far as my duties as a librarian go, my troublesome work is finished. Since this book has piqued your interest, why don't I let you borrow it? There's no time limit for you. I will register you as custodian rather than borrower. This is an exclusive privilege reserved for trusted citizens only. Exclusive privilege? Why does Paimon feel this is just your sneaky way of offloading your troublesome work onto someone else? Excuse me? Are you in some way dissatisfied with my work? Good. You're amenable to reason, then. <sighs> I do wish I could keep you by my side as my personal assistant. My work here is done. I'm going back. Don't forget to register at the library when you have a spare moment. <laughs> 